I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about stories of the Chesapeake Heritage Area. Find out what it is, where it is, what they do and all that good stuff. So I have Gail Owens here with me. She's the Executive Director. So Gail, what is Stories of the Chesapeake Heritage Area? Stories of the Chesapeake Heritage Area is our heritage area. We are one of the 12 heritage areas certified in the state and we serve Talbot, Kent, Queen Anne's and Caroline counties. Okay. And our mission, is in short, is to improve the economy through heritage development and heritage tourism. That helps everybody. So, and you said um, in the county, the counties that are covered. Yes. Is it the whole county? Is it specific areas? Is there? I know there's a trail. There's a trail. It includes all of our scenic byways, and in our case, it includes probably 90 percent of all of the counties. Okay. And our recognized heritage area does include our entire all four counties okay and well what's the significance of it what i mean so what does it matter that we have this heritage area um other than it is a trail for people to follow or that it designates some areas what 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 good do you all do <laughs> well the significance and the reason we are certified is because we are one of the oldest working landscapes that you can find in the country and do we have stories to tell yep that's true. And our role is to help promote those stories, to help interpret those stories, to help provide grants to all That's of I our partners. I was saving up for the grants, partners, exactly. All of our partners to help get our various stories out there. I mean, if you think about where else can you find stories of abolition, stories of freed and the enslaved all living together, stories of working watermen and working, working agriculture. Right. The, and the arts and entertainments, the opportunities and the stories here are amazing. Well, and and I guess so, tell us a little more about the whole grant aspect because I think what you just said was, you know, really summed it up that, you you know, you guys, you give grants and stuff to so that the stories can be told because there might be organizations um, that, you know, need help getting the word out and, you know, for stuff that they do. So tell us a little bit about that. Sure. We do two, ra two grant rounds. One is through the Maryland Heritage Area Authority, and okay. that grant round starts in January with the grants due in April, and that can be up to $100,000 for capital improvements and $50,000 for wow. programming. Yes, it requires a march. And in fact, we've brought over $1.8 million wow. worth of grant funds into the area to over 40 different organizations. That's incredible. That's I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, <laughs> The, all the stories that are being told because of that. Yes. And then we also have a small grant round, which just closed October 1st. Uh -huh. And that's a small grant. It's a good way for individuals and organizations that have never written grants before, never managed a grant. It's a $2,000 grant, runs through our heritage area, and that can go towards interpretation to the we helped pay for interpretive panels in Centerville recently. Oh, okay. And with the Queen Anne's County Railroad to help restore their building, we helped pay for the architectural plans that they needed. Oh, wow. And so it's a wide variety of ideas that can be used to help with that. Well, and that, that, and you know, it's not just the big things like redoing a whole building. Like you said, it's paying for the architectural plans, right. you know, something small like that or putting the, the panels up. Um, and how are you all funded? Do you get grants or do you get money from the state? I know, I know we're going to touch on some, yes. a, a fundraiser that you have and then something else, something new and That's special. Right. <laughs> well, we have, we receive a grant from the state of Maryland, the Maryland mm -hmm. Heritage Area Authority, but we have to match that. Okay. With 75% of the amount of money that we get from that. So we are a nonprofit. Okay. And luckily, Queen Anne's County and the other counties have been very generous and they give us $3,000 a year to help pay for that. Um, however, we are out there fundraising. We send right. down an appeal every year. And so if you get a letter, an envelope that says Stories of the Chesapeake, that's what you're going right. to help fund is help us help all of our partners. Right, by offering the grants and all. By so offering our grants and our training. We do, we are right, going to be, oh, we're going to be offering a grants workshop coming up in November to help prepare all of our partners to be able to write better grants. And, and that's, is that free? That is free. See, I, I wanted to get that in yes. there because that's important for a lot of these smaller organizations. They might not know how to do a grant, how to write it up, how to manage it. And here you're offering them the opportunity free to come and learn how to do it. That's right. So, okay. so tell us fundraising. I know you have a calendar here. Yes, well, every, each year we have done a photo contest. 
And this year's theme will be the Shore Palette. And we ask uh -huh. people to put in photos of anything to do with food. This is last year's calendar, and it includes you know, vintage photos, as you nice. can see, but it also has a list of all the different events that occur in our heritage area. So you can plan your weekend and decide right. where you want to go every weekend. We, this is a fundraiser. We ask for sponsors. Um, and then we also sell this calendar. We'll be selling them at different places throughout, okay. you know, throughout the fall and the winter. And it is an 18-month calendar. So if you miss this before Christmas, it's still good. So, so have the, has the deadline already passed for the photos to be submitted for, this, for next year's calendar? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. But it, and so everybody needs to keep an eye out, though, for the food calendar coming out. Yes. Now tell us about these other cards that are laying here. Yes. I'm excited about yes. these. Yes, following the food theme, we have a new project that we started last year, which is our recipe cards. And we have gone to different restaurants and asked for their special recipes of anything that's Eastern Shore. And I have two of them here. And one is the Jumbo Lump Crab Cake from the Robert Morris Inn. And the next one is Rockfish Bites from Occasions Catering in the there Packet Boat up in Chestertown. Um, so we get those, but on the back, That's you get a story. Right. Um, and then on the back of the rockfish bite one, it's the story of the fishing shanties. Nice. So it's very much t catered to our history. The, w the ones for Queen Anne's County are coming out. They are at the printer as we speak. Awesome. And it will be the oyster stew recipe from Harris's Crab oh, House. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. And and where can people get these recipe cards? Well, you need to look for us at various <laughs> events and we'll have them at those recipe at that at the Heritage Center we have them, okay. we keep them provide and we've given them to our various partners. So if you stop by ver some of our museums or wonderful. our visitor centers, you will be able to find our recipe cards. And we're hoping to come out with two recipe cards every quarter. Oh, that's nice. So the nice. ones coming out now, you'll have the oyster stew from Harris's, and a crab and corn chowder from Ooh. Harry's on the Green in Denton. Oh, in Denton, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so that's exciting. So, um, again, you know, people can come out, see where you're at, and, um, you know, to find out where you're at to get the recipe cards, they can find out online about your calendars. Yes. And um, also, I like that the calendar also has all the different heritage events. For, and that's for the counties that are that's underneath right, for the, the four, um, yes. for our four counties. Right. So, and um, we have contact information that will be up on the screen. So if anybody has any questions or wants to know how to find you, they can, they can do that. And um, uh, I thank you so much for coming in. I don't think a lot of people realize what a, you know, what a great organization this is and what it does for the communities. Well, thank you, and I'm very happy to get the information out because we want to know what we can do to help our partners, both the businesses, the museums, the arts councils, what we can do to help them serve our community right. better. Thank you so much. Thank you.